everyone, and welcome to Create! Don't let the wild, crazy tree colors and flowers everywhere and prairie grass fool you. That is not what Create is. That's just part of a little biome mod that we, uh, that we added on here. The primary focus of what we're going to be doing is mechanical awesome stuff with amazing building. Yo, baby! You have to trust me when I say it is uh, one of the coolest things you're ever going to see. And that is why I skipped most of the early game. I d I've done a lot. I mean, your boy is in diamond and iron already. All the diamond tools, fortune, silk touch, all of that. I got all that early game stuff out of the way because that's not going to be our focus. I even primarily the most important thing. Hey, where my saddle? Most important thing is I got my horses. But second most important thing is that we dive in to this cool create mod stuff. Here's the first thing. Now, follow along, students, while I teach you what this is. This is a blueprint, blueprint board. Let's see if I can... Aha! I reached it. Now, let me make a cool crafting recipe in here. Now, this is a new thing called andesite alloy. Now, when we get out of that screen, you can see that that blueprint is right there. Whenever I look at it, if I right-click it, like, like, like this, yes, it crafts it for me. I should have done this on a lower one. It would have been a lot easier to explain. But the recipe will always be there. So anytime I right click it, boom. I, and then if I left click it, it'll reset it. Now, if we take that andesite alloy and we put it like a stick thing, we get a shaft. That's a lot. Now in a more accessible area, let's do this crafting recipe. So one shaft and one law of plank makes a cog wheel. And I got mine. And then you put this down and now you have cogs wheels and you can get this little ghost thing and it shows you where the next one's gonna go there. And they can, you can make stuff. Ah, oh, Sweet Scar is here. Lovely, lovely. He's been working on something fun over there. There he is. Well, after talking to Scar, just had a creeper explode on my face. Uh, I don't know how that happened, you know, modded. But you, this is a good example. This is just a hay thing. This is from another decorative mod that we have in here. Uh, if you shear a hay bale, like so, it cuts the straps off of it. And it flows out. Like, uh, you know, wheat or something. But back to business. These blueprints are awesome. You just, oh, you just right click them and you get as many of the, the things that you want. It's awesome for, for mass crafting things. But how do you make all these parts move? Let's get one of these big cog wheels. Looks like that. And if we surround it by slabs, we get a water wheel. Now this water wheel doesn't really do anything unless it has power. There has to be water going around it, right? So that's how we're going to, it's one of the worst power sources in the game. But if you know me and uh, like redstone and stuff, my goal is to, it's not necessarily gonna be efficiency, but it's gonna be beauty. So I'm going to, I think, have a little bit of a house right here and it's gonna be powered by a water wheel. So it'll be a little bit of a, a mill. We'll have a river running down here, down into this river, little waterfall, and then we can have some water wheels here that attach to our place. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we just need to get this waterfall flowing with some water so we can get that wheel turning. Now I'll explain, this is also, this is from a decorative blocks mod, but oof. You right click these and you can kind of configure how I mean, they're, they're, this is V Dubs is happy about these things. I love them. But anyway, watch this magic. We knock that out, and sure enough, the water wheel starts turning. Yeah! And I'll kind of clean this waterfall up a little bit, make it look a little prettier. But when that waterfall starts turning, you will get a little bit of rotational power. Oh, yeah. So now we're starting to make these cogs turn. And then, I, I mean, I'm not going to uh, for practical purposes. But you see how we got? And that force creates some power. Now, this will be a crude example, but I want to show you some of the possibilities of how we can create some cool machinery that does function like redstone in Minecraft, but also do some cool decorative stuff with it. So... You can bring these shafts across that extend that power out, and then you can put these things on top of it. But all of this can be hidden behind a wall. You can run all this power behind your wall. So if I put 
some spruce log down. And then with iron nuggets and andesite, I can make andesite alloy. We used some of that earlier. If I right click it, bang. Can't do it in a crafting bench. That's weird. Okay, okay. It has to be like that. But if we take that andesite alloy, or this, uh, I'm sorry, andesite casing, we can put it on here. Wait a second. Why am I getting infinite? Why did I get four? What in the world? Let's try that again. One, two, three. Oh, I learned something. So if I just place it, sure enough, it's gone. But wait, if I put it on something, it's free. Oh, I learn a thing. Okay, that's amazing. And yes, then it goes away. You don't collect it back. It's just a covering for a decorative covering. That's amazing. A little Minecraft history lesson. You know, Pistons used to be a mod. Pistons in the game, they used to be a mod. And one day they were like, you know what? It's so good. Let's put it in. I think that Create has a lot of pieces that are good enough to just be in the game. So many good things and cool ways to add life to buildings and stuff. But let me show you another thing. This is kind of the technical uh, bo body parts. Not body parts, sorry, that's really gross. Uh, the guts, the guts of the thing. So once you understand all these, you kind of get the grip of how everything works. Dried kelp, you take kelp, you put it in a furnace like normal Minecraft, but then you put it like that and you get a belt. So I can put a belt on that shaft down there, take it up to this one, and we got a rotational belt that carries that rotational power up vertically. You can also do it horizontally and make conveyor belts with this and stuff, which we are going to do today. But that's kind of the science behind this. Now there's much deeper levels as well. There's steam power and there's there's other ways. The big thing we want to get to is trains. There's locomotive systems that we're going to plan on having all throughout this place, which I think is going to be amazing. But uh, yeah. I think I'm just very excited to uh, kind of showcase this, use this mod a little bit how it's not intended. You know how I do redstone in a way where it's kind of not intended to be used that way. Well, but it looks cool. That's how I want to play create here. You know, this often happens with create where it's like, oh, I got all this cool stuff and you're just building it out in the middle of the wilderness. We'll have a building around this soon. It'll help it all make sense. Now, here's where more science happened. We have this connected to the water wheel, making that uh, spin. Now, we just, let's see, can I get this? Yes! Put a shaft in there, and it makes this conveyor belt go, oh, give me that, please. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. I can right-click that off there. L lovely, lovely. Now, we need to craft a beautiful thing. We're, I'm doing all this stuff for a purpose. One of those lovely andesite alloys that works infinitively forever makes a mechanical press. A very cool thing, if you hover over it, mechanical press, and hold W, it brings up this... I mean, look at this mod! It brings up this gorgeous tutorial, it tells you all the things about it. It show, okay, put this in, it press down, and it make things. We need to make iron sheets. We know how to make iron ingots. Iron sheets make the, use this presser thing. So, since we have this rotational power up here, we can put that on there. And then, some ingots, and we can automate this, but if we just throw it down... It should, yes. That's slow. That's fine though. And sure enough, a new item, bonk. Lovely. So at the end, we'll automate that as well. We have an iron sheet, bonk. I, uh, Tango saw it. So let's see if I got this right. We make another one of these and a sight casing things. It seems like kind of the basis for all of this starter stuff. And this, yes, mechanical saw. This is good for saw and stuff. And then, now we can make a little bit of a hand crank. Now, I've left all of this wood here for a raisin. Let me show you. It makes dirt path blocks! You can't get those! That's awesome! Oh, okay, I mean, it's as easy as going like this, but still, that's pretty sick. Okay, now, with all these logs, if I put this saw right here, and then put the crank on, and then rotational power myself. This is like the earliest game thing. Cut down all logs, free of charge. How fantastic is that? See, easy tree mining. And now we've got this whole place cleared out. Gorgeous, amazing. So hopefully, you guys get it? You get the gist? Here, let's put these bad boys down there. You get the gist of what we're doing? 
slowly but surely we're going to build up our power. Like right now, we're not producing very much. The water mill's like the lowest, one of the lowest of the low. But it's good for our starter house. There's also so many blocks like stone cutter. This is all create. Create adds all of these potential. Like here are your vanilla options for stone cutter, right? But then you get all this up here, cut version, pillar version, like hello. They do it for tough, for dripstone. There is, <laughs> look at all these. Oh yeah, so we got some amazing colors to work with thanks to create as well. So that's kind of the basis. We're going to need to have a lot of sheets pressed and stuff like that. That's one of the early starter things I want to kind of get done and out of the way. There's some other fun toys. Oh, cuckoo clock. Uh, we'll get one of those working. There's a lot of fun stuff going uh, that we're going to get into. But I'm going to get this house built. Hey, everybody, it's me. Cog, Coggy Steamy, Steam Boy. Steam Cog Boy. Come on up and take a look at the house. Still have everything kind of turned off and disconnected right here, but... Here's the interior. This is what I'm talking about. Look at these colors. This is dripstone, cut dripstone, cut granite, uh, cut tough. And this, I mean, it's some beautiful colors we can get in here. So I love, I love the feel we get with this building. But I think we're going to build wise. We're going to put a floor like here. Ooh, Echo City in here. Maybe a floor there. Yeah, 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 because the windows are right there. Probably a wall right here. As you can see, I kind of pre-planned this a little bit where we've got this uh, entryway. So we'll come in, maybe some stairs here to go upstairs, and then this will lead us into this factory room. But let me show you a little more about this andesite casing. Oh, it's outside. Here they are. It was just I put down a bunch of spruce stripped logs and then hit it with the andesite alloy that thing up there and it turns into all these and look at how it all connects it's amazing but let's show off some of the decorative options here so with these conveyor belts you can right click oh and it's not taking any oh that's amazing and it puts kind of this base on it which looks amazing and then we can ooh yes i'm gonna put it back here just that feels like a big waste but you can also do it up that as well. We'll put, this is where our input will be, or output, I should say. So when we want that smashed iron, it'll come out of here. And the way we do that, take one of those andesite alloys, fancy boys, and it's not. Aha, of course, I quizzed you. It's kelp. It's kelp, and it's andesite alloy, and you get two of these little tunnel things. So watch this. I put that tunnel on there. Oh, yes. Okay, let's just... Whoops, I didn't mean to put that one there. But basically, if we put a barrel over here and one of those there, it'll come out here, get processed, and go in there. How fantastic is that? Now, this feels like a little bit of a waste, but we will be able to, if we want to run more shafts and stuff around, we'll be able to run them right here. And they can go all inside of this casing, which would be amazing. Oh, goodness sakes! Am I safe in the house? I'm not safe in the house. Oh, goodness. Let's just stay in here. I need to see how this arrow is pointing in. Uh, by the way, I have all the water flowing uh, over the top, over the side, and under the bottom of the water wheel. So it makes it go very fast. So we'll go, well, basically as fast as it can go. We need to press three of these to make a wrench because this is facing in. This is saying it's an input. When we make a wrench, those will go in there. When we make a wrench, can I just right click that? No, I gotta throw it on. We can turn this, watch. So three delicious golden sheets and a stick. And we got a wrench, very good job, B-dubs. Now if I right click, it's an output. So watch this magic. I'll put some iron in there and it comes out of the danglies like a so. And if we get this going a little faster, you know, it won't backlog like that, but it's not that important earlier game. And then, it just keeps on coming and coming. So we can just make a ton of this stuff and forget about it. Set it and forget it. And off you go. Watch these things dangle. Oh, yeah, baby. And then they're in there. How fantastic. I'm freaking out. Best day of my life. Now, this is just the start. Now we're able to get this production going a little bit. And we can start on making a cuckoo clock for up there. This cuckoo clock will be able to do some very cool, interesting things 
uh, in the future. But, I mean, we got to get it in episode one, don't we? So I'll get some more of this interior done on this floor, and then we'll get working on the upstairs. All right, things are moving very swimmingly. We've got the interior looking beautiful. And I put this new mill thing down here, but hey, looking good. Let's see the upstairs as well. The upstairs looking pretty nice. That's our spot where we're going to put our cuckoo clock. But look at these decorative blocks. How gorgeous are these, huh? With these trusses. So basically this right here, this little beam going across, whoops, is actually a seat. You can right click on it and then you're sitting on it. Look at how gorgeous. Isn't it? That, that's perfect size seat. But it also has other uses like this, where you can make little beams and stuff like that. I'm loving it. But here, we have some stuff to make, but I also want to show you this toolbox. This is part of Create as well. You can store a bunch of stuff in it, right? And it's, it can actually take like many, many stacks. Like, let's see if I can put a bunch of andesite in here. There's another 44. There you go. 144. So it takes a lot. I think up to eight stacks of a material, but the where this really shines is I'm over here, right? And I need to access some materials. I hold a different button. I hold alt and boom, I can get 32 of them. Is that not amazing? I don't, it, there must be a way to send them back as well, huh? Oh yeah. I just hit alt and they go back. Uh oh, gosh, free to make this cuckoo clock is easy enough. But the par hard part is I must sacrifice my clock. This is good. I think eventually, once we get kind of scale things up, this will be a huge help to me. Because this goes off at, in the middle of the day. It'll go, deet doot, a little pig will pop out. And then it goes off right when it's time to sleep. So we might be able to connect this to some things that can alert us at all times and say, hey, B-dubs, it's sleep time. But it doesn't work if it doesn't have power. <laughs> so, uh, two options. I could try to run some of this windmill power up there, which, I mean, it could look so cool if we do. We run it around the outside, you know, or something like that. But there's another cool power option we can try. Aha, windmill bearing. So you put this down and you connect it to something and then you can do all this stuff and make a windmill. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't spoil it, okay? Goodness sakes. So we poke this little hole right here that we prepared. I think if I shift click, yes, it's facing outwards. So, oh, and I can reach it, okay. To turn it on, all you have to do is right click it, but it's not ready to assemble yet. So now for that windmill to work, we need to create sail frames. And I probably don't have enough sticks for this. But let me just show you, this isn't something I'm going to be crafting a lot of, but this is how this can kind of function, you know. This can be my workbench area, and I can have just some blueprints sitting out. It looks cool, but I need 32. So with this windmill bearing block, anything we place right on it, it will spin. So if I right-clicked it right now, it would spin. And these sails as well, I think two. Oh, nope, that's wrong. So there's this cool directional thing that helps you kind of place them the right way. But once we get these sails on, then we start generating some nice power. But now the sails are on. Let's see if I can sneak in and get that right click thing. I can get this controlled with, uh, well, I'll never need to control it. Okay, it's working. And cuckoo clock, it's working. Yes, there we go. You can see it in action, right? The windmill's spinning and it's made purely for a cuckoo clock. But there's some aesthetic things that you can do with a windmill as well. I mean, that looks cool, but we can make it look cooler. Oh, I just heard the cuckoo clock go off. Oh, 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 yes. Okay, that's amazing. That makes me so happy. Okay, most of the stuff that moves in this game is going to require something called super glue in order for it to work. Of course, super glue is going to require some slime balls, right? So we can make dough. Oh, I need more water. We grind that wheat up to get wheat flour and then get create some dough and then combine that with some slime balls or some lime dye and you get slime. Amazing. Take this like so. I obviously have the recipe up right here. I, I still got it wrong. Okay, iron nugget, iron sheet that we just made thanks to this present thing. And we have super glue. Now, 
Super glue works like this. I don't know if... Is there a... Uh... No, there's... Oh, there are uses. Okay, you only get a certain number of uses. This is just an example. It just kind of shows an area that's glued together. This is also a preference thing, but you can take the sails off and just have it look like that. But as you can see, I've added some trap doors on here. Now, if I turned it on, these trap doors, they'll just stay right where they are. They won't connect to this whole mechanism. But if I use the super glue, let's see, I'll probably have to go... I think all of these sails will be fine, but if I... Oh, oh, you don't like that. I realize now, I realize. It's this to here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take this all the way to the connected center block. That makes sense. Okay. And then I have this little button out here that I want to rotate as well. So there you go. You can see it. It's all connected with super glue. Now, if we turn it on... Oh, yeah, baby. Look at it go. Okay. The whole thing's rotating perfectly. Uh, this is the happiest. Oh, and Scar has joined. Lovely. Oh, it's looking... I'm so happy with this. It's making me... I wonder if he wants to see it. Would you like to see a working cuckoo clock? <laughs> I would love to see a working cuckoo clock. Okay. I mean, it looks amazing. I mean, you threw that together so quickly. Look at yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. In my sleep. Yeah. In my sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, you wasn't... got the working wheels. Yeah, yeah, I got water wheel. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but it's enough for like starter stuff. Oh, look at this beautiful interior. I of course, I use oh. beams, the superior. Well, not actually. I forgot. What to do is it this right here. trash? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. I can fix it. I can fix it. Cut dripstone. That's such a better texture for dripstone. There's a creeper on it. Dude, that was amazing. It was so short, but amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not very long lived, but you know. What's this one? Oh, Deep Slate. Deep Slate, oh. yep. yep. Oh, I can't do yep. it anymore. He's I out. I can't do it anymore. You're <laughs> out. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> there he goes. Off he goes. Oh, amazing. But we've done some good things today. And I got, I did a little more decoration here. I mean, look at what we got. It, this, it feels real. It's so exciting. There's so, <laughs> there's so much possibility with this. I'm, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled with the potential of what we got. This, this is, we just, this feels like some really cool stuff. We've literally just scratched the surface on what we'll be able to do with this. I'm, so excited and you know me like i said it's going to be weird wonky build style uh and big group thing that we're planning it's going to be a huge industrial area <laughs> don't spoil b-dubs but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching i hope you're excited for this series i know we're all thrilled for it i love you to death and we'll see you in the next episode oh, yeah Thank you.